KUEM News, winner of the 2022 Regional Edward R. Murrow Award for Excellence in Diversity, Equity, and Inclusion for the Culture Club. Off at AM, wherever you are watching us from on the live stream on YouTube and on Facebook Live, I'm Jason Salas. Thank you for watching. Happy holidays from all of us here in Harmon. These are tonight's top stories. Well, 34-year-old Stephen Mamaro will be sentenced in district court on Monday. He admitted to having sexually explicit photos and videos of a child on his mobile phone and sending the material to co-workers by way of a WhatsApp group in 2015. The victim was only 16 years old. Mamaro faces up to a decade in prison with sentencing being held Monday before Chief Judge Francis Tidinko Gatewood. Well, one man faces nearly three decades in federal prison as a former Guam radio marketing executive who admitted to bank fraud and identification in furtherance of fraud will learn his fate in federal court this week. We're talking, of course, about Evan Montville Cohen, who will be sentenced Monday before the aforementioned Chief Judge Francis Tidium Kill Gatewood. Montville Cohen is accused of using a man's personal information to rent a home in Timooning and not paying rent, along with sending a man he hired from Off Island a check to relocate, but the check bounced while the man was on his way to Guam. Mabel Cohen has agreed to pay $60,000 in restitution. Well, now to this week's Crime of the Week. After a holiday, Grinch targeted a local school, making off with dozens of toys for kids in need. A classroom filled with toys nearly emptied. They were donations for the children in need this holiday season. The theft occurring at Ugudu High School over the holiday weekend. Thieves, or in this case, a Grinch, targeting the specific classroom and also getting away with equipment used by the school's Marine Corps JROTC students. Senior Marine Instructor, Sergeant Major Vincent Santiago. The perpetrator just came straight in to my storage area where we're standing right now, accessed my armory and took uh, four high-powered pellet rifles uh, that are used for my students uh, to qualify for, uh, for shooting competitions, along with other items. Items that were supposed to go toward a good cause. The sad thing is uh, about 500 toys uh, were taken. Um, my cadets uh, for the past five weeks have been at uh, Guam Premium Outlets, you know, collecting toys from, from the public here in Guam, uh, from donations for the toys for Tots Drive, for, you know, for those children and families who, who don't have the means to purchase toys during this holiday season, Christmas. Uh, time frame. Santiago adding the theft, however, isn't ruining their holiday spirits. The JROTC students still managing to donate more than 1,000 toys for the Toys for Tots drive. Guam police tell KOAM that officers are investigating and are searching for the culprits. Santiago confident those responsible will be caught. You not only uh, impacted uh, this program, but you impacted the future of our island. So, you know, if you were going to do the right thing, uh, you know, turn the equipment in. And the GPD, uh, I'm confident GPD and, and our local community, uh, we'll, we'll find you. We'll find you. But, uh, you know, it's sad. It's sad that, uh, that you would uh, stoop to that level to take from the future of our island. Anyone with information is asked to call GPD or report it to the Guam Crime Stoppers. Daniel Perez, KUAM News. All right, thanks so much, Daniel. In other news this evening, Guam's newly elected leaders already are getting work ahead of January's inauguration. Daniel Perez again joins us, catching up with one particular senator-elect during a meeting with officials at the local prison. The Department of Corrections is suffering from a shortage of prison officers. DOC currently has 162 officers on duty and roughly 700 inmates. The guards are outnumbered by at least 4 to 1, making it difficult to monitor everyone at any given moment. KOM was at the prison when Senator-elect Chris Barnett met with DOC leadership to discuss ways to address the manpower shortage. I think the single most pressing issue at uh, DOC has got to be uh, recruitment of the officers. You know, they had a job fair uh, back in May, and they, uh, they had a lot of uh, positive feedback. A lot of people want to come and, uh, you know, make a career here at the Department of Corrections. But the issue is uh, there's a holdup at the Department of Administration. And so when I talk to DOC leadership, they tell me that to run this prison the right way, it's going to take 350 corrections officers. The critical shortage resulting in unexpected troubles at both their Mangilao and Haganya facilities. You look at the headlines, we're seeing escapes, we're seeing stabbings, we're seeing contraband, crystal methamphetamine going to our prison. And a big part of that is because we just simply don't have enough staff here at this facility. And I would just get on DOA to let's move a little faster to, to give these guys the remedy they need to really address a lot of these issues that, you know, at one point or another will affect our community outside of DOC. 
DOC Director Bob Camacho says he is ready to work with island leaders to fix the ongoing concerns. I deeply appreciate the senator coming over and listening to some of our needs and some of our concerns and also uh, his willingness to uh, help us. It's help for the officers here working to keep the rest of the community safe. Daniel Perez, KUAM News. Elsewhere, on Friday morning, 11 unclaimed fetuses were given a proper mass of Christian burial at the Peagle Catholic Cemetery. After the Holy Rosary was held by the Catholic Daughters of America at Adda's Mortuary, the Knights of Columbus and members, as a see on your screen from the various motorcycle clubs on island, escorted them to the Inigua facility where Presider Monsignor Ruben Espeño and concelebrant priest offered the rite of committal with a final commendation. Well, moving on in our rundown, spirits are high this time of year, especially as we celebrate the holidays coming off the pandemic. And it's why our island community is being reminded to drive responsibly as you enjoy the holiday festivities with family and friends. Officials gathered at Adeloupe earlier. As we welcome in the, the holiday season. Of the drive sober, get pulled over and dry high, get a Pass DUI campaigns. Linda Abanez is the deputy Stay director alert. at the Department of Public Works. Distance. Avoid distraction and most importantly, to drive sober or risk getting pulled over. Well, the risk is not just getting pulled over yourself, but also endangering the lives of everyone on the road. The governor reiterated how it's a time for cheer, but it could easily turn deadly. Every year we hear and we experience very tragic losses during the holidays. And it makes it even harder during the holidays and the festivities to have these uh, accidents and uh, to have these tragic cases. And so let's try everything we can to prevent it. He is actively patrolling major thoroughfares this time of year, so you can expect more checkpoints throughout the holiday season. Well, as qu Christmas is quickly creeping up on us, if you still have some holiday gifts to order, there's some important tips we want to share with you now from our friends at the U.S. Postal Service. Our next report is with Matsuki Hirayama. We had some questions for USPS Postmaster Tammy Shunin about the holiday rush. Here are the answers you need to hear. Take a look. The holiday season is upon us. That means whether you're celebrating Christmas, Hanukkah, or Kwanzaa this December, it's the time of giving. Guam Postmaster Tammy Shunin tells me the U.S. Postal Service is holiday ready to deliver your packages fast and reliably. She says, quote, We're planning to increase our customer service by expanding the hours for package pickup in Barragata to 6 a.m. to 10 p.m. Island residents can expect no shipping delay this year. But she does recommend to order or ship your items as early as possible, saying the earlier an item is shipped, the greater the chance that it will reach its address destination in a timely manner. For shipping items to loved ones abroad, she recommends December 17th for first class or priority mail and December 19th for express mail. And she leaves us with this advice. In order to reduce wait times for themselves and for others, we encourage our customers to complete and print out their custom forms online before coming to one of our postal facilities. For the full list of information, check out KUAM.com. All right, thanks so much for that story, Matsuki. Great job. Well, because it is the holiday season, we here at KUAM Digital, in partnership with our friends at Tea Gallery by DFS, Pops 25 as well as Guma have kicked off Christmas Pops, 25 days of shopping local. So you want to look for our Shop Local Guide on our social media platforms. We're at KUM News. And then the daily Christmas Pops post featuring a different local vendor every day. We're also sharing weekly profiles of a different unique vendor on Fridays on our platforms, as well as weekend edition right here up until the 17th. Now today, we're introducing you to one such local vendor, Natural Bean. Christmas Pops 25 Days of Shopping Local, presented by Tea Galleria by DFS Guam and Guma. Half a day and happy holidays. So if you haven't heard, DFS Galleria has teamed up with Guma to feature many local shops. Today, we stop by and visit Chelsea, who owns Natural Beans. I got started when I had my sons uh, several years ago now. We live in the jungles in Talafofo and mosquitoes were an everyday occurrence and I realized that any products I bought had so many chemicals in them that, I, that weren't safe for kids and I knew that. So I tried to figure out how to solve that problem and I came up with different mosquito repellent recipes that I would try with my boys and I'd ask my friends to try them and we found recipes that worked and then friends and other people would start asking about buying them so I decided maybe this is an opportunity to turn this into something that could benefit my whole family and the community because I'd come up with 
um, chemical-free, uh, environmentally safe products that we can use on our kids. So this is orange, uh, we have grapefruit, and we have lavender. And I can't even pick a favorite because I love the smell of all of them. But we'll also be coming out with cinnamon and peppermint for the holiday season. So you can kind of smell yummy and toasty at the same time. Um, and we're going to have a sustainability set available for Christmas also, which means that you'll have a refill uh, bottle that you can buy for each of these. So you're not just disposing of the bottle once you're done with it. You can refill it. And the refill bottle is 98% biodegradable. So you feel good about tossing it away rather than feeling guilty when you buy a product and it's just wasteful at one time use. So right now we're available uh, at DFS during the holiday season up until next year and soon we will be available online and through social media as well. So stay tuned and look out for Natural Being Guam. So don't forget to stop by DFS Galleria all season long to check out what they got and also shop local. Christmas Pops 25 Days of Shopping Local, presented by Tea Galleria by DFS Guam and Guma. Coming up after the break, the Culture Club. Guam's auto appearance specialist, Elegant Reflections, has been providing the automotive industry with professional detailing and car care products at its highest quality from complete detailing, full interior detailing, exterior detailing, headlamp restoration, hand washing, seat and carpet shampoo, engine degreasing, undercarriage cleaning, paint sealant, fabric protection, paint oxidation removal, and so much more. Visit us at our new location. Call 646-5555 for an appointment. Elegant Reflections, Guam's auto appearance specialist. Over 20 years of experience. My name is Leonza Selvage and I have a four-year-old daughter who goes to lots of learning daycare. So with the rising cost of living, it helps tremendously with bills. I don't have to worry about paying for childcare services. Knowing that this program is offered to our people, most especially our children, I think something to definitely be grateful for. I learned about programming Penelin from the mayor's offices here. And uh, my initial reaction to the program, I was actually in disbelief that this program offered free childcare services to our people. I wanted to give my mom a break for a little bit, so when I found out about the program, I jumped right on it. I was relieved because childcare at no cost. I'm thankful for this program because I don't have to worry about an extra set of bills coming my way. I'm grateful for the governor, the lieutenant governor, everyone behind the scenes that made this happen. Need help paying for child care? Guam families can receive financial support through Programan Pinilan. Learn more and apply at guamchildcare.com. Honey, do you want some milk? Do you ever wonder how your favorite products make their way into your local stores? Most arrive on state-of-the-art mats and vessels that transport containers of food, household items, equipment, and supplies into the islands every week. Because we know that you depend on us, we work closely with our partners to ensure that our shipments arrive on time, all the time, so you can find your favorite products when you need them. We transport the region's most precious cargo that supports successful businesses and promotes a better quality of life for our families. Matson is proud to have been the hometown shipping carrier for Guam, the CNMI, and Micronesia for the past 25 years. And you can count on us to be here for generations to come. Fast, fun, and easy. That's how your home Wi-Fi should be. So start with an internet plan that fits your budget. Introducing your home Wi-Fi starter pack, also known as WISP. Enjoy up to 25 megabits per second for as low as $35 a month, plus a free router with your wireless subscription. That's hours of movies, games, social media, and more endless fun. Get your Wi-Fi starter pack today only at Docomo Pacific. Better together. Additional conditions may apply. It's now that time where we introduce you to the latest inductee into KUAM Culture Club. Culture Club is brought to you by Tropical Ice. Off a day, I'm Tony Sayama and I own and run the local shop. Well, it all started back in 2018 with Guam Peeps. We have five dolls, Serena, the Tautamana, the Chief, Chamarita and Duendis. We started back then with just these simple dolls. The artwork was from my sister, but then we took it to another level and then we started making plushies. With that came with their stories. 
So if you bought a Tautamona or you bought the Chief or the Chamarita, it comes with their story behind. And we do that because we want to be able to promote our culture and preserve them with the dolls. After Guam Peeps, we established our store a year ago. So this is our one year anniversary here at the Aganda Shopping Center. And with that, we started bringing other local vendors and other local artisans into our shop. Uh, like Mr. Ben Antalan, we sell our Guam sales here. Uh, we also have Michael Bavakwa, and we sell his books here. We also sell other local artisans products here at our shop, if you notice, all over here. We wanted to have a shop to kind of open the doors for other local artisans and their products and bring it here and sell it. Uh, having this shop was very important for me to expose and present some of my work, which were the Guam peeps, uh, my clothing, uh, and also some of uh, work that I have, but also it was very important for other small businesses to come in and share their work as well. So we provide a space for everybody, if it's Sanahis, if it's Guam ornaments, if it's um, Guam pillows, or even some Guam plushies too. We invite them all here at the local shop. Also, if you didn't know, we are Guam Funny Memes too. And with that, we have Guam Funny Meme shirts. The importance of preserving our culture is to have them with our products. Today, it's very hard to kind of show and preserve that with the generation today. So we found ways of doing that, and that's our dolls, our books, and the things that we sell here. Their stories are very important to share and to share with others. So a lot of people on the island and overseas come to our shop and they buy our products and they also buy a piece of the story as well. If you want to find more about our shop, come here to Aganya Shopping Center. We're right next to Pretzel Maker across Ido Vision. You'll find a lot of cultural products all over the store. Uh, we have the dolls. We have a lot of great cultural products here, so come down. Uh, you can also find us on social media, Guam Peeps, uh, on Instagram. And also, if you want some laughter, we have Guam Funny Memes on Instagram too. Check us out. Half a day, I'm Tony Sayama, and I'm proud to be a part of KUAM's Culture Club. Culture Club is brought to you by Tropical Ice. Tony Sayama, you might recognize also a KU alum alumni. He was one of our very first teen reporters. Really proud of him and his success now, so check him out. All right, coming up next, sports with Dave Delgado. Get up to the minute news, plus access to alerts, streaming radio, promotions, and more on your mobile device by downloading the KUAM News mobile app, available at the App Store now. I can't make that amount work right now. Mom, what is it? Can I get new basketball shoes? We'll see. Can I please have $20 for my field trip? I don't know. Can I go to my friend's house after school? Anak, hindi pwede. We're all trying our best to make ends meet. The Governor's Child Care Programs are helping businesses and working families care for Guam's kids. This ad is paid for with funds administered by the Department of Public Health and Social Services. Visit guamchildcare.com to apply today. My name is Leonza Selvage, and I have a four-year-old daughter who goes to lots of learning daycare. So with the rising cost of living, it helps tremendously with bills. I don't have to worry about paying for childcare services. Knowing that this program is offered to our people, most especially our children, I think something to definitely be grateful for. I learned about Program in Penilin from the mayor's offices here. And uh, my initial reaction to the program, I was actually in disbelief that this program offered free childcare services to our people. I wanted to give my mom a break for a little bit, so when I found out about the program, I jumped right on it. I was relieved because childcare at no cost. I'm thankful for this program because I don't have to worry about an extra set of bills coming my way. I'm grateful for the governor, the lieutenant governor, everyone behind the scenes that made this happen. Need help paying for childcare? Guam families can receive financial support through Programan Pinilan. Learn more and apply at guamchildcare.com. Be back in a sec. We can't wait forever. All your nacho fries, please. 
Made with Mexican spices. Made for nacho cheese sauce. Only at Taco Bell. KUAM Sports is brought to you by Docomo Pacific. Better together. KUAM Sports Weekend Roundup is brought to you by Gatorade. Greatness starts with G. Guam taking on Samoa for the bronze medal with the FIBA 15 under Oceania Championship at the UOG Cabo Fieldhouse. Guam outscored Samoa in the second quarter 21 to 10 to lead 38-21 at the half. Team Guam went on to win 78 to 69. Noah Cruz led all scorers in the win with 18 points. Teammate Noah Tenorio added 16. In the girls' bronze medal game, Samoa defeated Guam 92-50. Samoa led by double digits throughout every quarter. L'Oreal Hiko led Samoa in the win with 18 points. Maria Paulino and Gia Peters led Team Guam with 9 points apiece. Samoa won the battle of the boards, pulling down 68 to Guam's 53 rebounds. Guam struggled from the three-point line, only hitting 8 of 37 shot attempts. Our girls did shoot well from the free throw line hitting 14 of 22 shots. In rugby news, congratulations to the Guam Rugby Club's U18 girls team for winning the cup at the 2022 13th Centaurs International Mini and Youth Rugby Tournament in Singapore. The girls beat TRC Medusa's 17-0 for the championship. Guam's U18 boys team placed second in the tournament, losing 7-5 to the Saints. Our boys played tough, holding it down with no subs, grinding it out to the very end. In track and field news, World Athletics, the international governing body for the sport of athletics, has named the Guam Track and Field Association as one of six finalists for the Member Federation Award. The winner will be announced on World Athletics social media platforms in early December as part of the World Athletics Awards 2022, the island's performance at the U18 and U-20 Oceania Championships, as well as the Pacific Games, put Guam's name in the mix. Island Wolves taking on the Raiders. R.J. William with the pass to Justin Sanchez spotting up. Sanchez with the corner three after the defender was too slow to get out. Gavin Boyd tries to feed Tristan Hahn baseline. The defense collapses on Hahn. Tristan with the assist to Addison De Los Santos, who drops the floater from the free throw line. Wolves calling for the playoff, the inbound. William whips it out to the corner to Phoenix Borja. The first half was a bit slow as both teams try to settle down defensively and not draw fouls. Jarrett Coe dumps the ball off to Tariq Butler, who buries the mid-range jumper. Peter Uggen brings the ball up court, hits William cutting down low for the easy lay-in. The Raiders pick up the dub in their first game of the tournament, 35-24. Cole attacking the basket and drives through the lane for the score off the glass. Warriors facing the Cougars in the women's division. Cara Duenas with the jumper off the assist from Brianna Chrysostomo. Darren Stinnett with the answer for the Cougars the opposite way. Stinnett hits the deep ball from the top of the key. Warriors almost forced the turnover on defense. Kiana Kitigua to Corey Paulino to Chrysostomo for the bank shot. Stinnett with the bounce pass here to Becca Tomata. Tomata finds Naya Seguenza working her way towards the ball. No need for the backboard here as she drains the jumper. Chrysostomo with the long outlet pass to Corey Paulino, who hits from the outside. Hand down, man down. Warriors pushing the ball. Jan Quintaniza to Seguenza. Back to Quintaniza for the easy two points. The Cougars walked away with the win 39 to 26. Caraduenas hits the baseline jumper. Corey Paulino with the assist. Alex Castro is heading to Thailand to compete in the Bare Knuckle Fighting Championship Thailand 4 event on December 10th. Castro will be the island's first fighter to fight in a bare knuckle sanctioned event. Alex is scheduled to meet Gustav Cedarmom in a featherweight matchup. I know he's a, he's a tough guy he's from Sweden. Uh, 30 and 5 record. He's done some bare knuckle fights before. And uh, nah, he's a banger, man, but I'm a banger too. I'm actually still overwhelmed. Um, you know, uh, obviously put in a lot of work, a lot of hard work to get to where I'm at the last three years since I've been out. Um, but I'm excited making my debut, you know, uh, on a bare knuckle level. And I'm able to, you know, 
on a, on a international level, represent my island, you know, the people. It's been a decade since he's last fought in the cage. His last professional MMA fight was a unanimous decision win over Tony Rages in Pacific Extreme Combat 30. This is my ticket into the U.S. circuit. So the agreement was that if I fought in Cambodia, which is now going to be in Thailand, um, that if I won this fight, that I would be on the U.S. roster. So I want to get into the U.S. circuit and um, pursue my career there. In programming news, Monday, December 5th at 4 in the morning on KUAM TV 11, NFL on CBS, the New York Jets at the Minnesota Vikings. Keep it locked to KUAM TV 11, 725 in the morning, the second game of the doubleheader, Kansas City Chiefs at the Cincinnati Bengals. Keep it locked to the stations of KUAM and switch the channel over to KUAM TV 8 for some Sunday night football. 11.15 in the morning, it's the Colts taking on the Dallas Cowboys. KUAM Sports Weekend Roundup is brought to you by Gatorade. Greatness starts with G. KUAM Sports is brought to you by Docomo Pacific. Better together. When you're built for tailgating, you're built for winning. Winning at storage. Winning at parking. Winning at technology. Winning at comfort. Winning at winning. When we face an uncertain path, when we struggle with life's challenges, and when the unexpected happens, it's a beautiful day. We rely on the people we trust, who we can always count on. and to the ones who give us the most care throughout the years. Rely on Calvo's Select Care to give you the comfort and security you need it's a beautiful day. wherever you are. Federal employees and annuitants enroll today. Here now are your weekend birthday shout outs. On Saturday the 3rd, Jacoa Jude Benevente, happy second birthday to my godson, and may God bless you as you grow older from Nina and Nino in the state. Man, Nina and Nino doesn't get any better than that. Great job, Nina and Nino. Jolene Rages, happy birthday to our biggest fan whom we call Mom. And your shout out says, have a glorious day. Yes, glory, absolutely. Happy sweet 16th birthday to Charlie Balbastro. I hope you're enjoying your wonderful birthday today. And when I'm 16, I'll get my driver's license. <laughs> nice shout out. And on Sunday, Joachim Kalata. Happy birthday to you from all your friends and family. All right, everybody, that is going to do it for Weekend Edition. But as we were saying, please be safe on the roads. Make sure to check us out at KUM News on social media, and we'll see you next time.